Today, we've got Superman vs. Captain Marvel. Who wins in this battle arena? Well, let's find out. Starting with Superman, Kal-El, a baby born of Kryptonian heritage, was rocketed away by his desperate parents, Jor-El and Lara, just moments before the planet's catastrophic end. After crash landing in the heartland of Kansas, Kal-El was discovered by Jonathan and Martha Kent, who renamed him Clark and raised him as their own. Little did they know that their son would become the legend, the last son of Krypton, the Man of Steel, the one and only Superman. He's the epitome of strength, and because of that, it's definitely safe to say that he's one of the most powerful if not the most powerful hero in DC Universe. But exactly how strong is Superman? Hmm, have you ever felt really sorry for a villain? That's exactly how I felt for Steppenwolf after he was severely stomped by Superman. The same Steppenwolf that survived a blast from Zeus, the freaking god? Superman single-handedly punched this guy like he stole something. It was so hard that it caused a shockwave and the ground literally shattered. He froze Steppenwolf's axe like it was nothing. Mind you, that axe is stronger than Wonder Woman's sword. This Steppenwolf I'm talking about withstood being pulled by the lasso of Wonder Woman. In fact, Aquaman had to help her pull him down. But Superman didn't even struggle at all. He tossed him around like a toy. Man of Steel smoked Namek like it was nothing and sent him flying about 100 yards away with a punch so mighty that it flipped several locomotives. He obliterated a drone and missile midair. Superman was able to exchange blows with General Zod and dragged him to space. Even when they were falling down, the atmosphere began to burn them because of the speed. Yet, Superman was unharmed before he finally snapped Zod's freaking neck. He punched the world engine and withstood the immense force of the gravity beam. When he stood right below it. I mean, look at his damn face. This world engine I'm talking about collapsed a mountain when it landed and created shockwaves of dirt and stone for miles. Even when Superman was weakened, he still tanked a nuke in space and then recovered instantly. Doomsday punched him through a big stone at the Superman memorial and then proceeds to break his head with one of the blocks that weighed about 20 tons. Let me also remind you that Superman was weakened at this point as the scar on his face was not healing yet. However, Superman destroyed Doomsday. He endured a relentless barrage of energy explosions from him, visible even from space. Simultaneously, he generated shockwaves the size of a small moon. Superman dragged a ship with ease. Seriously, look at him casually walking with that big-ass chain over his shoulder. And the ship is breaking through ice. When Superman was getting to know his powers, this guy held up an oil rig when it exploded, so workers could escape. Let's not forget how he whacked the Justice League. Like kindergartens. Wanna talk about speed? Superman flew from Ellesmere Island to Mount Kilimanjaro in five seconds. How about that? And even with that, Superman can still keep up with Flash. On the other side of the cosmos, we have Captain Marvel. She's got the strength to crack mountains with a single punch. But long before she became Captain Marvel, our heroine was known as Carol Danvers. Carol joined the Air Force at the age of 18, with big hopes of becoming an astronaut, which is super awesome. Except she didn't. Instead, she became the head of security at NASA. And then she went and got herself blown up. Blown up? After she was caught in the middle of an alien battle between the Kree and their sworn enemies, the Skrulls. I don't know if I should call it a fortunate or an unfortunate incident, but Carol's DNA merged with that of a Kree warrior called Marvel. She was given all of his extraordinary powers, eventually turning her into Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is one of the strongest superheroes in the entire Marvel comic universe because she can absorb powers. If you fire a nuke at her, she will diffuse it and suck in all its energy. And that's exactly what she did when she was overpowering Thanos. She was absorbing energy from the Infinity Stones. She lifted a freaking spaceship with tons of weight. Marvel flies faster than the speed of light. She literally searched the entire planets for satellites, ground defenses, and troops within seconds. Captain Marvel's Kree conversion left her with sensory awareness, and it is far beyond the limits of an ordinary human. She developed a cosmic awareness and precognition that allows her to sense danger before it even starts. This was called Captain Marvel's seventh sense. I wonder, what's the sixth sense? Seriously, we don't even know what the first one is. Then they jump to seventh. Can these people be serious for once? Let's talk about her fight with the infamous Thanos. Despite being armed with all six Infinity Stones, Captain Marvel survived those heavy punches and headbutting he gave her. Ouch. In her binary form, this girl can control gravity and unleash photon blast. She single-handedly destroyed a full Kree bomber ship. Ronan the Accuser and his fleet had to run because of her powers. A similar thing happened in the endgame. She destroyed Thanos' entire world 
warship with ease, simply by flying directly through it, without a single scratch on her body. Captain Marvel possesses accelerated healing abilities, enabling her to recover from injuries at a very fast rate. In combat, she's a pro. She's mastered all of Kree's martial arts. Captain Marvel's durability is second to none. She has survived nuclear blasts, disintegrator beams, and even direct hits from tachyon lasers, capable of slicing through anything. In fact, she has displayed the power to obliterate planets and asteroids, even without her binary powers. Both Superman and Captain Marvel are incredibly strong individuals. However, they both have their vulnerabilities. But let's start with Superman. By now, everyone, including a child born today, knows that kryptonite is Superman's most popular weakness. This mineral from his home planet of Krypton weakens him significantly and can even kill him. No joke. Moving on to Captain Marvel. Hmm. Where do I begin? She's got a shopping list of weaknesses, but we're gonna focus on the main one, and it's her weak mind. I've lost count on how many times her mind has been manipulated. Girl, can you not be weak on that matter for once? Another thing that drives me insane is her power depletion. She can absorb energy, but if she uses too much of the said energy, her gas tank runs empty, and she has to spend a considerable amount of time out of the action to recharge. Make it make sense. Worst part of it all is that she is too hot-headed and forward. The only good thing is, despite her weaknesses, it's nearly impossible for enemies to end her life. But the burning question remains, who'd win? When it comes to their abilities, it all boils down to their DNA structure. Superman's Kryptonian DNA is stronger than Captain Marvel's Kree DNA, granting him access to a wider range of superhuman powers than Captain Marvel. She's got the edge over Superman when it comes to fighting skills. With all that training from the military, why wouldn't she? Superman's combat skill is weak. He only punches and toss people around. However, as far as strength is concerned, Superman takes the winner spot. Captain Marvel operates at her peak strength at all times which is certainly an advantage. I know you're thinking, hmm, but Superman died. Well, I'm here to tell you that he didn't die. Superman was in his Lazarus mode. Batman's theory of using the mother box on Superman was just to tickle him. But most importantly, he doesn't let his superpowers get to his head. He can eliminate a threat in mere seconds, but he would rather take time to assess the threat first and only then formulate a course of action, unlike Captain Marvel. Maybe Captain Marvel should spend less time flying through space and spend more time on Earth to interact with other people and discuss their respective boring lives so that she stays in reality. In terms of teamwork, Superman thrives in this department. He is part of several superhero alliances, from the Justice League to the Teen Titans and the Justice Society, boasting a roster of powerful allies. Captain Marvel, on the other hand, prefers to operate independently as a lone wolf, and we've seen it come back to bite her ass severally. When it comes to facing formidable adversaries, Superman takes the lead once again. He has confronted some of the most powerful enemies, including Doomsday, Darkseid, Apocalypse, and many more. More. I'm not saying Captain Marvel can't put up a good fight against Superman, but winning the fight would be very difficult. So, Superman wins. If you enjoy watching contents like this, please check out this next video.